welcome to Dassault Systems 3D Experience Forum here in Adelaide, Australia. And I'm delighted to have with me now Mining Futurist, and I have to ask you about that, and Director of the Austra Australasian Institute of Mining and Metallurgy, Gavin Yates. So a very good morning to you. Good morning. Gavin, tell us about the Institute. What do you actually do there? Uh, the Institute is the peak body uh, that represents professionals that, or that work in the mining and resources sector. So we're looking after the professional standards, professional development, ethics, and uh, general networking and progressing of individuals that happen to work in the, the mining industry. Um, how do you feel about being invited to speak at today's forum? Um, I've, I've had some association with DASO before, and certainly they're a technology company that has the potential to radically change the mining industry. So uh, a lot's yet to be proven, but uh, the, the, what they've done in other industries, if they, if they can bring that to mining, it'll be fantastic. Is the mining industry open to it, it, it or is it a little slow moving? Um, people think the mining industry is slow, but when you consider the, the risks they undertake with the, the amount of capital they have to deploy Indeed. and how long that capital uh, takes to repay uh, and the risks they take with commodity markets and, and expiration and all of those other risks. Taking a technology risk is, uh, is you know, a, another layer of risk that uh, they're probably a little bit cautious about and they've been burnt in the past. So as we sit here in 2018, what are some of the biggest challenges currently facing the mining industry? I think undoubtedly the biggest is society's uh, lack of understanding of the value that mining brings to, uh, to just about everything we do. Everything, the microphone you're holding, our iPhone, is made up of metals that are mined. Uh, we can't exist and, and progress as a society without mining, but the general public don't actually understand that value um, and are somewhat disconnected from the supply chain that delivers those things to them. So that would be the first thing. The second thing is we're actually not finding a lot of new deposits and those that we have are getting lower grade and deeper and it's getting more difficult, therefore more expensive, so we have to look to technology to help. So clearly um, the industry is, is ripe for solutions. How do you think digital transformation could potentially play into those solutions? Well, as we stand today, digital probably pro provides the single best way to, or most value increasing way, to either improve value, reduce cost, improve productivity, and increase safety, and improve our overall license to operate, our, our footprint that we, we make on the planet. And so if you look at uh, 2018, how is the, um, obviously mining can be a little up and down, how do you think the future is looking? Well certainly we've been through a, a decade of boom between 2003 and to 2013. Uh, we've then had a correction and that period I guess was driven by China and its infrastructure which drove things like iron ore. The next phase is more base metals. Uh, the battery energy materials, so lithium, cobalt, nickel, copper, they're the sorts of minerals that are going to power uh, our electric vehicles and all those things into the future. So I think it's pretty bright because uh, everything we're seeing on the horizon, we need resources to, to, uh, to improve and in fact pull people out of poverty and improve uh, the standard of living of the, the rest of the population. Absolutely, and one of the other things we'll be discussing today is the changing face of the workforce. How much of a challenge is it for the mining industry to get appropriately skilled um, workforce? Yeah, well, um, I've recently written a report on, on the workforce of the future and uh, uh, looking at how we're training mining engineers, for instance, through to, uh, um, to, to give us the right skills we need, and it's going to be a very different mix. We're going to have robotics and automation and uh, mechatronics and nanotechnology and things that we haven't used in the past, as well as data science and data analytics and deep learning and all of those, all of those good things. A so brave new world. Yeah, it's, it's moving away from just the pure geology and mining engineering and metallurgy into those other areas of blending. So. It certainly sounds like a bright and exciting future. Um, Gavin, thank you so much for joining us. Great.